Whatever it is, girl. Whatever it is. No matter what people say, I will still love him. It's coming from my Joyce Lane, but Joyce Lane didn't say his name. Which him are you talking about? I hope it's me. <laughs> Music has always been me. My ex girlfriend used to call me radio because I tune into radio and they'd be playing high life, they'd be playing gospel, they'd be playing zook, anything else. I can sing every single song. But every single time I recorded a song, someone listens to it and say, You sound like a white man. I sure you the one singing, the people in Ghana are not gonna love it. I grew up to to music like uh, the Madden Gaze and the uh, the Bon Jovi's, the Bruce Springsteen's, the, the all those R soul R&B and pop artists. But whilst I grew up to music like that, I also really listened to um, some of these hard life greats like CK Man. The future is bright. There are some people out there who just need the opportunity to blow up. Um, God willing, I think all these guys are going to come out there and it's going to be good. Ghana, Ghana's future is really bright. Hopefully, the next Grammys, you're going to see me there. I did grow up with a lot of high life because um, I grew up with my aunties and my granny and elder sisters. There was a lot of high life, especially Wulume. Everywhere, at the bars, in the taxis, at your uncle's house, at parties. Those times they had the, the, the record plate and a huge um, record player. The people who started it, I want to say thank you to them for for making it possible and to keep everything unique and original and that's very strongly Ghanaian it's I mean they are more than heroes they are superheroes they are artists on uh, who've contributed so much to our music for example Ebo Taylor you know who started by uh, you know arranging for bands like Broadway you know serious arrangements and and yet there's a lot of, a whole lot of the new generation have no idea who he is. Wherever I am and I hear high life music, I'm like, yes, this is music from where I come from. I know how much this music is worth. We used to have dances on Friday nights, Saturday nights, you know, but this time people don't even go to Saturday nights, only a few clubs because people are going to church the next morning. It's the sense of belonging that it gives you when you are saying China and you hear High Life on a radio station, you're going to go like, oh my God. I love what they're doing with Hip Life. If it was done live, it had a bit more of the live instrument and not just a computer will be gone because we can put our market somewhere. But our, our music is so based on computer due to the fact that we can't either afford studios or we can't afford produ producers or we can't afford direction or whatever it is. Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Liberia, they are listening to our music. I feel that High Life is our spirit. This special thing, this special music that I cherish so much. Our music is beautiful. Our music is beautiful and um, I don't think we should lose it. Tommy, Baba, Mom, Mom, Takinopoli, Takinopoli, 